you don't build a garment when you're still under a greater garment. You don't. So I tell people, you must learn not only to reward, but to honor whatever grows you or anybody that grows you. It's the people who are running businesses who think that they would rather be a head of an ant than being a foot of an elephant. That's not wisdom for you to think that you'd rather own your own company and do this and be the head of an ant as long as I'm the one, I'm the boss of this, but are you really ready to run a company? No. If you're not, join something bigger than you and serve it. You'll be elevated, you'll be multiplied, you'll do way better than being a head of an ant. The Bible says that there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. If a man, if a woman is wise, they have a certain anointing that lingers around. And so, if you're invited in that dwelling, it's bound to extend on you. That's why the Bible says that he that walketh with the wise becomes wise. If you behave yourself like the wise, exercise yourself as the wise exercise themselves. For example, majority of the richest men in the world I know are readers. So if you know that that's a pattern, for any man which is wealthy, how can you spend a whole year, 12 months of a year, and you can't even read three pages of a book? Some spaces of impartation cannot be used only for reference. You have to build a deliberate plan to relate further than just reference. Being a servant of God is to know how to walk in the highest place of God's wisdom in the deepest grace or anointing available. That's true service. To fulfill the entire purposes of God in the highest realm of God's anointing revealed to you. That is service because the anointing is for service. When you understand the place of responsibility and service, then you are ready to walk in a deeper place of the anointing. The anointing is available for men to serve. The life of the new birth is more than anything hurting you. God wants to do things in your life that are unbelievable. We are getting to a level where people will start feeling sorry for disease if it enters your body because it has entered the life. Oh, he says, behold, all things are become new. Whether in your family there was hypertension, all things now in your body are become new. And he says, and all things are of God. Your body is of God. Your soul is of God. Your thoughts are of God. Your dreams are of God. Your creations are of God. Your imaginations are of God. Your interpretations are of God. Your conceptions are of God. That is the mystery of the new birth. Join our online family. Spread the love and follow us on our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finero, make manifest. There are things you will go through, but how you go through matters. You know, it's one thing to go through things, but it's another when you know that the Lord is with you. It doesn't matter what you go through. Fix your eyes on what God is doing. That confidence, the Bible says, cast not away thine confidence. Are you hearing me? That, that place where it doesn't matter what you're going through, but something still tells you, he's my shepherd. I shall not want. He's anointing me. He's increasing me. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. God is looking for such attitude. That place where you can go through stuff and people come and pity you and you tell them, darling, don't pity. You don't know what God is adding on my head. Praise God. Let me tell you, you're not going to fail. Join our online family. Spread the love and follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And subscribe to our God still has plans for you to make you prosper and not to harm you. Your inheritance stays sure in spite of your weakness. I'm talking about a God who can rebuild you from nothing. Who can give a youthfulness to something that has worked to its end and he rebuilds that story and one day people look at you and it's as though it never happened in the first place. It is possible.
he says i want to now rebuild those places the very desolate the places where they used to pass by and say ah, uh -uh that ministry will never come back again that marriage will never be built again her children will never be restored that career is gone she will never get money that man will never get a wife god wants to rebuild you to a place where you won't need to speak about it to your enemies no he will make it so so abroad he will expand the testimony of that thing he will rise you to a place where they must if solomon had greater wisdom than all the wisdom of the east god says behold a greater than solomon is here which is jesus to lift us up into the glory of his presence now if that kind of wisdom is available by christ and it is greater than the wisdom of solomon do you know what that means if kings used to come to solomon and they carried everything just to get to solomon what will men do to get to you whether you're in the deepest forest in the poorest nation in the dirtiest place it doesn't matter where you are when this thing sits upon your life men will build roads to find you so amen 29th of May is the day 29th of May is the day Season 4 and what a joy Season 4 and what If the devil knew that the death of Jesus Christ had come that we might have life and have it more abundantly if the devil had known that at the crucifixion of Christ he was going to call many sons to glory that at the crucifixion of Christ the Holy Ghost would come and now that which is in Jesus Christ would enter the church and now what was in one man is in hundreds of people and the same results we saw on that guy is now working with these fellows they are making the lame walk they are opening blind eyes they are raising the dead and cleansing the lepers what do we call them they are Christians they are like the guy if he knew this wisdom he would not have crucified the Lord of glory he would have just let Jesus be. but the devil does not know it all the Spirit of God is the power of God but now he does not just ascend on you the way he used to the old prophet to you he dwells in the inside of you power is available in the inside of you you don't pray to get the power you are already too powerful is the reason why you pray you are God's powerhouse. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in the inside of you. For you, the presence of God abides. The Bible says that there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. If a man, if a woman is wise, they have a certain anointing that lingers around. Them. And so, if you're invited in that dwelling, every time you see a witness in you, think of not only the possibility but the very reason why God wants to use you. And that is why Paul says, I glory in my infirmities. I glory in my weaknesses. If you see weakness in your life, God is casting light on it to show and tell you that it's the very reason why I want to use you and not anybody else. He says, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of power might be of God and not of us. The very reason why I know you were chosen by God, it is because there are reasons why you should not be chosen of God. And that is why righteousness is imputed through faith and not of works, lest we should boast. For if Abraham had anything to boast concerning the flesh, the Bible says he had nothing to boast before God, but he believed on God. And the Bible says that it was counted to him for righteousness. I dare you to believe God. It's bound to extend on you. That's why the Bible says that he that walketh with the wise becomes wise. If you behave yourself like the wise, exercise yourself as the wise exercise themselves. For example, majority of the richest men in the world I know are readers. So if you know that that's a pattern, for any man which is wealthy, how can you spend a whole year, 12 months of a year, and you can't even read three pages of a book? Some spaces of impartation cannot be used only for reference. You have to build a deliberate plan to relate further than just reference. Satan messes it up, and when he messes it up, God comes in again and straightens it up. Diotosis, reformation. Holy of Holies was not an idea of God simply keeping men away from the presence, and then later, an event happens where he shows them the presence. No. 
the presence was a revelation even before the Lord. Abraham encountered God before the Lord. Moses saw God face to face even before the law was given to him. The Lord told me, you cannot just be a channel when I've put the Holy Spirit in you. If you were just a channel, I'll just use the Spirit through you. But the Spirit dwells in you. Oh, the Holy Ghost dwells in you. You're supposed to fix your marriage. You're supposed to fix your career. You're supposed to fix your education. Where shorting? Fix yourself. He says the spirit you have received is not a spirit of fear. Uh -uh, uh -uh, woo! No, no, no. Behold, I give you power. Oh, greater is he which is in you than he that is in the world. You more than a vessel. The time dimension is circular. That is why the understanding of true timing, eight, is preparation. To know that, yes, I missed it that time. But if it comes back this time, let me prepare myself this one more time. That if the opportunity comes, I take it. God doesn't need 20 years. The God I'm talking about can change your destiny now. He can change your event now. He can change your family now. He can change your ministry now. He can change your child now. He can heal your body now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Do I? Have a witness.